y'all? It's your girl PRP, and I'm stuck in this chair. Hey, PRP gang, how y'all doing? So I am here with my Q and A for my baby, and we have my son featured on the video as well. You know, came to a video without my boy. Anyway, let's jump right into these questions because it is a lot. I don't think I'm going to answer every question, but just mainly the... So the first one, one, I need y'all to be clear with these names. Lou Taurus Bay. It say Rate the Pain. Um, I can't really even give you a number because the number is not even on the chart. It's just... It's very, it feel like liquid fire. It hurts bad and it's uncomfortable. So, I guess on the scale one to ten, it'll be ten. Um, when I say it's not for the week, it's really not for the week. So, if you can't take menstrual cramps, this is not for you. Um, the next one, Mimi, one bad chick. Did it hurt? Will I be fine and are they good people? I just set mine up online. Same place you went to. So, it is a good place. I'm definitely happy with my results. A lot of my family and friends that came to see me said the same thing. Um, and they were very professional. They were nice. They had um, good bedside my, um, manners. So I will recommend them. If I was to ever do a round two, which I'm not, I would definitely go back to them. You know, a lot of people say you should go to Miami or overseas. And I just feel like they did a great job. He did exactly what I asked him. I'm okay with my results. Will you be fine? I'm not sure because everybody tolerates pain different. Like the pain is annoying. The, the follow up or the setup after it is annoying for me because I don't sleep on my stomach. So me having to sleep on my stomach, my sleeping has become like I dread having to go to bed at this point. Like it's getting dark outside, it's time to bed. go to bed. I dread going to bed because I'm uncomfortable. I, I'm only comfortable for a little while. Okay. Can you still fit in your jeans? I do not wear jeans. The jeans that I did wear, it was just like I had to put them on. But I don't wear jeans, so I'm sure I cannot fit them <clears throat> anymore. And I do not plan on wearing jeans. After the jeans are not comfortable to me. Like, I hate, I hate it. So, you will see me in jogging pants, Nike leggings, or leggings. Or something comfortable. I don't like jeans. And that was from Nike Times CJ underscore fan page. <clears throat> Um, how long does it take to recover? That's from they love underscore nay one. They told me I could not sleep. I'm sorry. They I could not sit on my butt or my sides for a month. That's what the doctor told me. Miss Kimmy told me three months, and I'm just not even gonna be able to do that. I'm just let y'all know right now. The doctor told me a month. I got a month in me, and barely that because this week is dragging like tomorrow will be i'll be a week post op thank god so i got three more weeks to try and figure out how to get comfortable sleeping on my stomach <clears throat> i do think once the pain in my stomach and my thighs go away that it might it may become easier for me but right now it's very uncomfortable it's like i have to hold my stomach when i cough or when i laugh because it's like burning fire in my stomach like it it hurts really bad. I'm not exaggerating. So again, for those who are doing this or plan on doing this, I'm not trying to deter you at all. I'm just giving you my insight on it. Like when I seen multiple females uh, say they got their body done, you know, you don't see this part. They don't tell you about the post op. They don't tell you about the pain. They don't tell you about the bruising. They don't tell you about everything you need to have done in order for this to come out, um, you know, 100% correct and just me going off of different people YouTube and stuff. If Miss Kimmy didn't reach out to me, I don't know where I would be in this situation because 
y'all i even dread my massages like she does a great job with everything but i dread when she comes to do my massage because it hurts she has to bring the floor from my back to my sides and when i stand up she brings my side the floor from my sides to my stomach and it's weird because you can see and feel the fluid moving and it burns it's very uncomfortable it's not something that it's pleasant. I asked her, well, um, me asked her today, like, when will I be able to enjoy the massage? When will it feel comfortable for me? And she said, after maybe the 10th massage, I have to have 10 massages done every day. 10 massages back to back. Let me say that clearer. A massage every day for 10 days straight. And I skipped yesterday because, as you all could see, I was down bad. I had a terrible headache my eyes was hurting i had a nauseous feeling i couldn't shake and it's just like i didn't have any energy to do anything really yesterday so i did not get a massage today and when i got my massage i didn't get a massage yesterday so when i got my massage today i definitely felt the um difference from me not getting a massage yesterday and getting it today because not only was i tense it was like my body had to readjust to this pain. Um, so it's more like I'm trying to see the the end results before I even get to the end to keep me going. But I have had my days. I had my mental days. I had my breakdowns. I had just like every day is something different. And then and then it can be in the same day that I can be up and moving. And then in the afternoon, I might be down. In the evening, I might be up. It just depends on your body and your emotions and how you feel. But I do thank Miss Kimmy because I'm telling you, if I didn't have her and she wasn't so consistent, I would not be going to get no massages. I would not be eating right, none of that. Like, she really helped me with this situation, and I'm forever grateful for her. Next. A lot of these questions are the same, so I'm, I'm just answering the question because a lot of you all ask the same questions. A lot of you all ask so many questions. Like, I see the same name with different questions, so it's like I'm trying to... Um, oh, so this is a great one. Official underscore Naya, what made you get the BBL? So, I'm the oldest, and then y'all know my sister, and I have a brother. Out of us three, of course, he a boy, so it don't matter. Out of me and my sister, me being the oldest, I feel like everything body-wise skipped me and went straight to her. So, like, my mama, y'all see my mama, she got the breasts, the hips, the butt. My sister got the breasts, the hips. Well, she got a little bit of hips, but not really, but she got the butt. If you look at my pictures before then, I was like 110 pounds, 120 when I had Kamari and... I was like 125, 130, and I got on birth control, and I started gaining weight. And I started gaining weight in all the wrong places, and it was like, when I was smaller, my the best feature on me was my back. I love my back. You know, like, I always wanted to get it tatted and show it off, or my stomach. I, I never had stretch marks, even at the Kamari and Zaire. I don't have stretch marks to this day on my stomach, so that's why I'm really trying to shape this body, because I'm going back to my belly shirts. But... I hated how when I started gaining weight, it went to every place but the right place. And I always said, like, I want to get my body done. I've been wanting to get my body done since, let me see, like, it became a must for me, I want to say, 2018. And it was just like... I had a point in life where it was like, I just, I don't, I'm not having any more kids. I don't want any more kids. It was just going to be me and Mari. And I just said I was going to go ahead and get it done. Three years later, I had Zaire. So, once I knew for a fact that I was done having kids, I got my tools set. I'm like, I'm, des I'm destined to get my body done. Like, I'm. I don't care what I got to do, what I got to spend, who I got to sell, what I got to sell. I'm going to get my body done. And it, it wasn't because of the next person. It wasn't because of 
this is a trend is because this is something that I wanted to do, you know, and, and it's not me being insecure. It's me knowing that hair, hair wise, I'm, I'm a strong, a head strong girl, very confident, very beautiful. And I just wanted the body to match. Like I had it before and I wanted it again. When I was smaller, it was that even with me gaining the weight, I did gain weight gain. I had to come into terms with that because I had always said when I was small, I never wanted to be a big girl. So it was just like something that I had to become okay with. But even then, I dressed appropriately and I, I love myself. I wore weight, waist trainers or lifts to make me, you know, look the part. But I always knew I wanted to get my body done. Um, let's see. Vanilla underscore 88 wants to know, do I have any regrets? Whew, every day I say I, I want to give it back because I can't sleep. But in reality, I don't regret it. I don't regret anything that I did because I knew I wanted to have it done. I knew what I wasn't going to be able to do. I knew I wasn't, I was going to be down. So I don't regret it. I'm just... Patiently but impatiently waiting for the time to speed up for me to get through the recovery like if I can just get past the pain Past the uncomfortableness to sleep. I think this journey will be Okay, like but I, I constantly have meltdowns because I hate being uncomfortable. I hate Not being able to do for myself And it's just like I know my family don't mind But I know they have other things to do outside of being here waiting on me hand and foot so I be trying to do a lot of stuff by myself the more that I feel better and they just sit down somewhere you're doing too much but it's like I don't want to be too much on y'all and I'm not used to needing somebody to care for me hand and foot hand and foot so I don't regret it I'm just patiently but impatiently waiting for the process to speed up Do you think you will get anything else done? No. And that was from real underscore D3. I definitely don't want nothing else done. They say I should get my breasts done. I don't want it done at this point. Because I heard that's even worse. This was enough for me, honey. And I also keep seeing somebody comment about my teeth. Like, I never understood why people so disturbed about me having small teeth like it's not that they're ugly it's not that they're crooked you all be upset because my teeth are small and my gums are very pink and clean like that makes no sense to me but to each his own i guess but no i'm not getting anything else done i'm praying to keep this body in shape so i don't have to go back for a second round even if i need the second round hey i can say i got a bbl it lasts for so long and this is what it is. But I'm not going back. Ever. Mm -mm. Beautiful underscore Jelena, I believe, wants to know. So far, what is the hardest part of having the BBL done? I, again, it's the sleeping part for me. You know, that's the hardest part. And not being able to do for yourself. Like. And I won't say it's hard. It's just overwhelming. When you're used to doing something a certain way. When you're used to caring for yourself. And then out, out of nowhere. Or, you know, it's like you got to be down for a, a timely manner. And do this this way. And do this that way it, it just becomes overwhelming it's like times where it's like I, I'm just gonna sit down I don't care what it look like when I get up I'm just finna sit down because I was over standing up kneeling like my knees hurt but I was over kneeling I was over laying on my stomach I was over standing up I just want to sit down I just want to lay on my back I thought of different ways to get on the massage bed and my bed to lay on my back and I'm thinking like well I can't sit down to lay flat so how am I gonna get up it's just it's sleep, y'all. Sleep. I can't get it. And when I do get it, or when I do finally go to sleep, my phone ringing, you know, I gotta pee. It's just like, I don't know. I should sleep standing up at this point. 
Um, let's see. Did you make your butt real big? From Zakia Greenlee. I don't think I made it real big. I did tell Dr. Lynn I wanted, wanted the max fat out and the max fat in. So, if that's big, then it's big. But it's big body bends, if we're being correct. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long till the swelling goes down and you look great before and after thank you and that is from ooh I'm so sorry I don't know how to say that A-N-E-V-I-C A-C I'm not sure but the swelling has, swelling has went down a lot since the first day the swelling goes down daily. I'm not sure how long it'll be before I am, you know, completely natural or when the swelling is going to die down completely. I'm not sure. Just every day I notice different parts of my thighs, my hips, my legs, my butt, and my, my stomach is not swollen. So, I'm not sure the time the timeline. They said it'll take me like three to six months, six, three to six months, depending on my body, or six to eight months, depending on my body, to completely heal inside and outside. So I got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I got 16 sutures that I got to have removed Thursday. Hopefully that doesn't hurt, but. Yeah, it's a lot, y'all. It's a lot. <laughs> um, you love Taylor said, okay, weird, but I'm curious. Can you boo-boo yet? Or do you get like a catheter? <laughs> so, yes, I have had three bowel movements. And they say to ride the back of ride the toilet backwards. So basically, sit facing the back of the toilet to have a bad movement. But I'm so OCD, I could not do it. I couldn't do it. So what I did was I sat on the toilet correctly, but on my thighs, and I put all my I bent like kind of over and put all my weight on my knees. Or my son got a pot in the bathroom. I put my weight on the pot, and I went to the bathroom like that. But no, I don't have a catheter. I'm going to the bathroom regularly. Pretty little things want to know, did they put me to sleep during my surgery? So yes, they definitely put me to sleep. Otherwise, I would have ran off the table. Um, in my video, it's actually on there. You can see that I'm asleep. Um, local anesthesia. And I slept all the way until recovery. You know, I woke right up. Well, I woke up right before they took me outside to my ride. So, yes, they do put you asleep. I don't know who would do that woke. If you can do it, good job. Ivory Rangan wants to know who was my doctor. His name is Dr. Lynn. He's out of Chicago Breast and Body Anesthetics in Chicago, Illinois. And he's great. His nurse, Jenny, she's great as well. These are a lot of the same questions, so I'm just trying to make sure I didn't skip anything because... You had good questions. You all had good questions, but a lot of them was. Oh, Mr. Underscore Arnell, can you wash your butt or it has to stay dry? So, no, I can take a shower. I was able to take a shower the next day, actually, and I took a, took a shower every day ever since. I can't be submerged in water because I still have sutures. And even after my sutures come out, I can't take a bath because I can't sit on my butt yet. So, Yes, I am able to wash my body, wash my butt. Um, 
Yeah. So I think that was all of the questions that I seen to answer. Um, I did want to say, um, I mentioned it in my video before, but Thursday is my first week post-op appointment. So I will be making a video about that. Just, you know, see what Dr. Lynn has to say about my healing, my progress, and go from there. Also... Was there anything else that I wanted to tell my game? I am not sure. Oh, actually, I am sure. So, I did see a question where someone asked when was I going back to my baby daddy house. And that part, I don't know because I don't know when I can fly again. But, you all just have to keep watching my channel up um, to keep up with what I got in store. Other than that... This ends my Q&A about my BBL. I wanted Miss Kimmy to be here to answer some of the questions because she has more knowledge about the situation itself. But she's not here yet. I don't think she come till later. So, you know, we may do another one, may not, I'm not sure. But don't forget to hit that post notification bell, subscribe, Leave a comment and most importantly, hit that like button. I'm out. Peace. Jimmy. Jimmy. There's so much going on. We could have did this before they got I here. Didn't, I don't know. Because they got here. Cause nobody, you don't be no better. Right. You don't be no better. I thought you be on the phone. I thought you be walking the show. You be closing the doors. Uh, in the laundry room. Like you don't be there. Nobody better. Right. Nobody better. Right. 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 She got to be a part of it. She got to be something. <laughs> Exclamation point. She got to be it. Something. <laughs> I know you did not. I <laughs> know. I know. She fucking lying. I'm crying. <laughs> what? She said, shut up. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Damn, Bonnie. Go back in there. <laughs> Jamise. I know you fucking lying, Jamise. I will not that bitch I'm now. I'm finna rock your shit. Get your ass over there. Sit down. You don't need it. Go and lay down. God. Man, <laughs> Mimi, lay down. <laughs>